Hello, Rat Pityans, and welcome to the first ever Great Pittish Build Off. I'm your host, Bobin, and let's meet some of the contestants. Let's meet our first contestant, Banana Boy. Why don't uh, you tell hi. us something about yourself? My name is Hugo. Uh, I grew up uh, in in Earth, and I love my family, and I'm doing this for uh, winning. I know. Wow. I'm very deep. Thank you. All right. You. Let's meet our next contestant, Sharp Rights. Uh, can you tell me something about yourself? I'm a human. I think. Okay. No way. Probably. And I'm I'm here to prove my worth against these other people. I don't know. Um. Next, let us have Max. Goodbye. Come over here. Bye. Bye, Sharp Right. Hello, Max. Hello. Can you tell us something about yourself? Um, I am a gnome and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole, diggy, diggy hole. Thank you. Next, let us have uh, Willow. Come on over. Step up on this lump of dirt and tell us something about yourself. I made this lump of dirt. (laughs) Is that? He's an artist. Is that what you have to say? (laughs) And the others are determined my hair is going to just cause a disease. (laughs) Yes. Uh, next up, we have Energy Quartz. I am here to win. I am here to take on that prize. Uh, this has been my life, um, my life for so long. But I am gonna win this, um, and bring home the cash prize. Wait, what's the prize? Uh, the prize is bragging rights at the pit. Wow. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, let's go. That's better than any cash prize. <laughs> Well, that is all our contestants, and you've met me. I will be going around judging these fine contestants on their building skills. They will all have 30 minutes to complete a build based on a randomizer. Uh, Max. That's crazy. Can you Honestly. tell us what we will be building? Yeah, let me pull it up. As you can see, I have this fancy sheet that will decide the fate of our contestants. Um, that's a scary word but whatever i have three 12 sided dice here that i will roll and they will determine what it is on the table um so let's let's get going we got Uh 11 3 and a 12. so our 11 means that we are building a spooky thing spooky Ooh, spooky Um, so spooky and three means that we are building a castle or a fortress a spooky castle spooky spooky castle Uh, and what is the block the block I rolled a 12, which means that it has to include iron ore block, which is so, an interesting... So, contestants, we're going to be building a spooky castle, and it must include the use of iron the block, ore. iron ore. So the timer has started. People will have 30 minutes on the dot. I will join their calls in about two minutes, and just going around seeing how people are progressing. Hello. So you are Hello. clearing out an area? I am. Uh, I'm going for a, like, spooky in the crimson kind of vibe because I thought, you know, being as red was proved the uh, superior color in our previous video. I might as well do it in a red area. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Also, because crimson is scary. Crimson is very scary. Not as Giga Chad as the corruption, not gonna lie. This is true. I just put um, it on random, so... Same. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna use many blocks. Uh, I'm not gonna make it a life-size gnome statue this time, unfortunately. I know the fans were waiting for that. Um, it also doesn't meet the criteria of the build battle. It could. I make a life spooky size, gnome. That, this is true, but it castle. also needs to be a castle. I mean, yeah, I suppose you could castle make a gnome, gnome castle. Uh, I'm a very huge fan, so winning this competition would really mean a lot. Uh, not trying to cause any biases or anything here, um, but I have watched all your movies, sir. Well, thank you. I appreciate that you have watched my movies. Yes. I... Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Sharpright. Hello. What is your plan for your building? My plan for my building is to make a cool building. Um, okay. And I'm you're doing it... it- in the underworld why because it's gonna be spooky okay and this is and smart 
Well, my best of luck to you. Do, do you have any 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 ideas for like potential building blocks that might be nice? I'm the judge. I'm not allowed to give you advice. But but like Gordon Ramsay will give advice to beat I don't know. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. Wait, what? I'm not Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Gordon Ramsay does not do Terraria build battles. There's certainly enough portions in there to feed a family of six. Okay. That's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Hello. Oh, wow. You've Hi. already started your build. Well, I was prepared. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. Um, so. No, because I. This is your spooky outpost? Yep. You still have like 20 minutes, so you have a lot of time to I clean stuff up. I have 20 minutes? It's a 30 minute round. I thought it was like almost done. Hello, Max. How is your build going? I'm pretty happy. I've built yeah. this spooky basement. Oh yeah? With some people doing gymnastics. Can you go yeah. into the spooky basement? No, it's mostly just for decoration. Would that right. give me extra brownie points if you could go into the spooky basement? Yeah, okay. yeah just something to consider. It does look very good, though. Hello, Energy Forks. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I... How's your How's your build going? It's going pretty good. I'm going for kind of like a kind of mythical, spooky sort of vibe I'm going for. Like here, I have the green walls. I've just started it, so there's not much. And then yep. like the triangle in the center. But the whole vibe I'm going for is kind of like a movie where kids are going into a dark forest and then they see something like this, you know? And it's like, wow. And then they have the secret to society, something weird like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now that we've had a look at all of our contestants' builds, we are going to chill for a while and wait for them to finish. Now, I have a little secret to tell you guys. Um, if their builds do not do well, and I don't judge them to be the first, second, and third picks, well, uh, they are going to get a taste of some dynamite. Uh, which will put all of their hard work, uh, blow it to smithereens. Um, but that's not cruel, because they did terribly. So, it's their own fault. He's back again! Oh my goodness! This is... Awesome. Is this like, uh, what's the movie called? Uh, uh, the one about the ring. Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings, yes. Is this like Maybe the it big, is. Is this the big I don't know the much tower? about it. I am not the flavor of nerd that knows about Lord of the Rings, unfortunately. Because there's a big eye. I didn't eye. get that patch. Yeah, All it right. is a big eye. This is very interesting. It, the, the big eye is meant to represent how eye-opening it was when you asked me about the meaning of the iron. Oh, yeah. It really made me think about, like, why we do what we do and that we live in a society. Okay, so, so iron it's, it's, ore made you think about why we live in a society? Oh, uh, that's No, but you, you asked me what the meaning behind my iron ore being at the bottom of the lava is, and I didn't have a meaning. And it made right. me question everything. Boo. Ah! Stop! I could've dropped my croissant! <laughs> that one actually scared me that time. Am I, are we done? Uh, not yet. Uh, but finish up quickly. Oh, wow. Okay, you made it a passageway with an extra... You extended this room. Um, well, you gave me an idea and I decided to take it, so... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that's what judges are for, I guess. So, I see that your build is basically finished. Is this correct? Essentially, uh, you I was, have if, yeah, big a couple piles more of details, money. But yes, I do, I mean, including uh, like iron ore. Like the cobwebs, I'll try not to break them. Boo! Hey, yeah, dude, I don't know what to do with the iron ore, so I'm just making like a weird aw freaking thing over here. A weird ass sort of. 
just... Yeah, I'm just making some, a pile of iron ore, because apparently I'm making lore so the people who live here are miners. I mean, they mine. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Important yeah. distinction. Yeah. I, indeed. Wait, ooh. Everyone, contestants, mm -hmm. time is up for our build battle today. We are going to go around, uh, I'm going to go around judging, but people can follow me, um, to the different places, uh, where people have built stuff. We're gonna start with you guys. This is meant to be a safe haven in the Crimson to protect you from all the googlies, but it is also supposed to be a, uh, a place of worship to whatever this eye is. You're marking first on creativity, then appearance, then function, then use of chosen block. Right. So, for use of chosen block, I really like uh, up here with the eye. It looks like, kind of like it's supporting, it's kind of built into... It's incorporating a natural thing out of everything else here. Uh, everything else here looks kind of like steampunk, like creepy. So, Sure. Um, that's, I'm gonna give that a 6 out of 10. Creativity, uh, creativity, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. I really like how he incorporated it in the Crimson Biome. Appearance, this, um, is very creepy. I feel like if you were in real life and you stumbled across this. What would you do? So, oh, wow. appearance, I will give this an 8 out of 10. And then functionality, I'm giving this a 7. Uh, so this is supposed to be a, uh, a a fortress in the crimson. It is meant to represent the victory uh, Team Red had reigned over uh, the, the pieces of crap that are Team Blue. All right. Uh, the next person we are going to judge is going to be uh, Sharp, right? Viewers, like and or comment if you have ever rapidly teleported in a video game. Hell yeah. Breath of the Wild? Oh my goodness. Exactly. Comment whatever you like Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild better and argue about it. All of are the five there? Breath of the Wild players are going to get into our comment section. <laughs> oh yeah. And one of them is going to be me. Yeah, five. five of them are going to be me. This is the castle of a vampire dude. And he's a vampire. Uh, he always had very hot feet because, wow. you know, hell and all. So that's why he put the iron there. To absorb the warmth from his feet. Okay, so use of the block. I was a little confused and a little concerned uh, given how the Iron Ore didn't have anything, but with his lore that he's included, I think it's pretty funny. So I'm gonna give it three out of five. Creativity. Shape-wise, it's a box. It's got some nice decoration. I feel like you didn't include a bed because vampires don't sleep. That is a six out of ten. Functionality, I'd say, given the location, this is a solid 7 out of 10. Appearance, it's a box. Um, it's very creepy because of the location and also some of the decorations. Yeah, I'd give this a 7 out of 10 on creativity. Let's go to uh, Willow. So, this thing is a giant lamp that these three statues were originally people that were trying to protect it. That's what this fort is for. All three of them died many years ago, and when they died, each uh, an iron grave appeared for them. Each uh, ice torch represents their soul for it. They each wow. have a chair spread once around here, and the banners are to represent the monsters they kill. That is really impressive. Yeah, um, okay, so judging. Uh, I'm half tempted to add a category for lore, um, and the ratings will be uh, from... <laughs> the ratings The ratings will be from uh, Garden of Ban Ban lore to Matt Patworthy. No, I'm kidding. Use of iron, five out of five. Like... You totally used this ugly block that has very little use. It sparkles. It does sparkle, but it looks terrible. Uh, the block, not the build. Creativity, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Given you had your whole lore written up, um, and it was it's a really nice story, appearance is a solid 7, given how I feel like you could have cleaned some stuff up, but still looks yeah. amazing functionality i feel like 
you've got your crafting stations, and it's a nice, you've got plenty of doors, so you can be kept safe even in the hardest um, times, like you could probably survive a blood moon in here. Um, so functionality, I'd give it a six. Okay, this is my really rushed thing that I thought I had more time for, and I ended up uh, spending like 10 minutes on the little snowflake design because I was trying to figure out what looked best. And then, what's hoping, snowflake? Right? This is all arcane vigils. Oh, and okay, and basically, what happened was when I finished that. Bobin went up and was like, you have five minutes. Anyway, here's the lore. So, these are miners. Miners live here. Yep, they mine. No, not the Tiny, tiny children. children live here. No, no. People who... No, so, same thing. They, they have an iron collection here. Um, You can steal it. But yeah, they have a little mine shaft down here. Uh, use of iron, I feel like it's pretty solid with the lore. Um, You could have done a little more with it, I feel. Uh, but given the, given the timeline... I'm giving that a 3 out of 5. Creativity with the lore, it seems like this is a slightly, yeah, this is like a low point in the world. So for a mineshaft, and it's connected to a really deep cave that goes basically all the way to hell, like super deep. So I feel like with the lore, that actually, intentional or not, holds up pretty well. Um, so I'm going to give that a 8 out of 10. Functionality, uh, you got nine. it's pretty Very good. Cool. If you're it trying just to find is not to find. valid housing. This is true. There are no chairs. There are no crafting stations. Give me he a does sec. not want to sleep in a pumpkin bed. Let's be honest. Straight up. <laughs> my my housing is not valid, and I don't want it to be valid. Functionality, functionality. I'd say that's a six. All right. Um, yeah. So for appearance, I'm giving this yeah. a I'm giving this a six. Yes, Max is, is the last though. one. So, the lore is basically, I was thinking, so you know, like D&D and stuff, you go out and you kill a big evil person who has a bunch of treasure and a big spooky castle. But what happens after? The castle just gets like abandoned. And so that's kind of the idea here. You can see we have some people, some skeletons in the basement, um, quite literally. Um, yeah, it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> uh, and you, they there are doing cartwheels. Those are past adventurers, and then we have all of his treasure that the adventurers didn't take, and cobwebs have kind of piled up as the um, the this king has been dead for so long. But you can see it once it used to be like pretty ornate with kind of stained glass windows that have now been kind of like broken, and these like uh, big red banners and and this nice spiral staircase. The use of iron that holds up. Um, so I'm gonna give that a solid five. Creativity with the lore and this amazing staircase like this actually looks like it's a spiral staircase so i'm it's a basement skeletons that's creative yeah so i'm giving this a 10. functionality, functionality. okay right. there are no doors that... uh yeah i You're forgot like, about that sorry there... okay. so i feel like if this were there's also <laughs> no there's no way for this to be housing or storage yeah. so this i feel like this would work better as a randomly generated structure but not as could, a you could have it like this, like this is like at your spawn and you spawn in the middle here but it wouldn't really work as a house yeah this would this provides no shelter well a little bit but it Good won't hold up in any kind of um so for functionality i'm gonna give this a four so yeah, appearance, brain dead appearance this looks really good the Yay. staircase the cobwebs that used to exist um this really works like the dungeon i wish that you had made an entrance to the dungeon instead of just it just looks like those have been there forever and not adventurers beating or not adventurers trying to defeat this guy i'm gonna give it an eight just because of some missed opportunities it's a three-way tie all right so um Ready? Three, yep. two, one, fight! Oh no! Oh, why am I at such low health? Why am I in between this the two? This is so <laughs> random. It's just spam. This is so fun. You guys bro, don't know bro's, true bro's actually getting beat in the corner. 
not targeted at all. Why am I in between the two of you? We hate women. <laughs> She's, you guys are... All right, hello. Come on, you got this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is intense. The intensity is real. The one piece. Yeah. Oh my god. No, who went when? Oh my god. Oh. 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 oh! The winner is Max! No way! That was intense. The winner of the Great British Bake Off 2016 is. Candice! Okay, thank you guys for coming to the Great Hittish Bake Off. We might do another episode, might turn this into a full series. Um, congratulations Max? to Max for winning, yeah, and I think we've winner. destroyed his bill. Um, uh, he only won because yeah. of the PvP. This is true. Yeah, yeah we were all good winners. The real winners were the friends we made along the way. <laughs>